Okay guys, uh, let's do question one then of a function of a function section. There's going to be 50 questions uh, in this section, I think, thereabouts. And this is going to be uh, the long-winded one. And I'm going to do a fi another 50 of the same questions with the short method, because it's a long and a short method to do these things. So let me just take you through the um, the uh, long-winded method then, shall we? It's the function of a function rule. So we've got here y equals e to the 2x. Now, this is the bit of book work that we need. Simple little formula. It's it's uh, said uh, described as dy dx, which is our derivative, equals dy du du dx times du dx. So you think of it akin to a fraction. Of course, it's not a fraction, but you think of it akin to a fraction, where you use this little trick, so to speak. So the question is, what substitution are we need, do we need to make? So if you look at this thing here, e to the two x, the first thing you need to do. To solve questions like this is look at your table of standard derivatives, which they're here, and you need to ask yourself what does that resemble most closely in terms of its form and structure. So let's look back a bit, back at it. It's y equals e to the 2x. So if we look back at our table, the thing that it most closely resembles then is that thing there, isn't it? The e to the x, which differentiates e to the x. So you could correctly say that this is e to the something, couldn't you? Where the something is 2x. And that's it. That's the key. If you can recognize this as e to the something, and that form or structure appears on this table, then we can use this trick to differentiate. And that's all there is to it, really. So let's just, because it's best explained by example, so let's just do that then. So this is e to the something. So we're going to let the something then, so let the something equal to x then. And then what do we have? Well, let's draw a grid. This is the best way to do it because we're least likely to make a mistake. So we're going to try u equals 2x. If we make it, try something wrong, it won't work. And we'll just have to try something else. So it's simply trial and error then. So let y equal u to u equal 2x. Then we've got y equals, well, it will be e to the something, which is u. Then we can get du dx, can't we? Just differentiate with respect to x. We get 2. And dy du then. Now to get dy du, what it is is you do differentiation with this respect with respect to the symbol u, not the symbol x. So what you do is you look back at your table, and in your mind's eye you translate this table into the symbol u. So wherever you see an x, you can put a u. That's dy du there, and then you get u goes to one, u to the n goes to n, u to the n minus one. X is just a placeholder. It's just a symbol. And this is the pattern or structure that you have. So maybe for our first question, I'm tempted to write down that table, actually. Uh, no, I'm going to stick with it. Here's our table. This is the form. And as I said to you, let's look back at our problem. We want to differentiate e to the u. We translate this table. Instead of x, we use u. Here it is here. e to the u. Differentiates to e to the u. There we are. I've translated that table. And we can now write that down. It's no more difficult than that. And it's simply practice. The answer is the product of these two. So then, dy dx equals dy du du dx. There they are there. dy du is e to the u. du dx is 2. So customarily, we write that the other way around. Two lots of e. And the last thing you do is you put back in the substitution that you needed to make in order to do the differentiation. So you put back in the 2x, yeah? So apologies for that being so long-winded. It is the first one of 50 that we're doing. And I think I needed to, to go on a bit about what the process is. But when we get to the next few now, we'll just proceed as, as normal and use this simple little trick. If it doesn't work, you try something else. That's it. There's nothing more to, to be done. So let's move on to the next question then, yeah? Great. 